And now for our double barrel shotgun. As you can see, we've got seven glue dots. We'll be using those a little bit later. I've also got a single gray 160, and I've blown that up about halfway. We're not going to be using all of that. Get these glue dots out of the way. And then I've got two brown 260s, about a four or five inch tail on each of those. Two gray 260s, each with also about a four or five inch tail on those. We're going to start with one of our gray, two, or excuse me, one of our brown 260s here. And the way we want to start is we're going to make a little small pinch twist right on the end of it. And then we're going to come back, make about a five, four or five inch bubble there. A small pinch twist for making the, the stock or the butt of the gun first. And then we're going to make about a three or four inch bubble. Another pinch twist. And then we're going to complete our stock by making the bubble slightly longer than that one. And then we're going to put another pinch twist there. Now we're going to come out. We need just a tiny little spacer bubble there. Not a very big one. And we're going to put a pinch twist there. We're going to make that two pinch twists. Just like that. Two pinch twists there. And this will be important in a minute. And then we need a little small, another tiny spacer bubble there. And another solitary pinch twist here. So, let's see what we've got. What we started with was a pinch twist. We made our stock, which was a bubble, a pinch, another bubble, a pinch, and then back in. And we added a second pinch twist. We've got two pinch twists there. A little, little small spacer bubble in between. Two more pinch twists. Another little small spacer bubble there. And a single pinch twist with this piece sticking out. And we're going to take this piece and about eight inches is all we need. I'm going to trim off any excess and tie a knot. Trim that real neat. So we have that one there. Now we're going to take our other brown 260 and we need another bubble the same size as this final bubble we completed with there. So put your bubble there. Then we need a pinch twist like that. And then one of those little tiny spacer bubbles there. And then what we're going to do is if you look at our stock, we've got this bubble coming in on the side here, the spacer, and then there's a two pinches right there that are sort of standing alone. We're going to take this and put it into those two pinch twists there, just like that. Because we want those two to ride alongside each other like that. They're going to go underneath our barrels for our two magazine chambers. Now we're going to take and drop down with a little, about a three quarter inch bubble. And then we're going to put, there we go, a pair of pinch twists here. Lots and lots of pinch twists. And then our bottom one here, now this bottom bubble here, we're going to come down about maybe three, two and a half to three inches and put two more pinch twists. This is where our trigger will go eventually. Just like that. And then when you lay this along here, I want this one to be slightly shorter than the other two. So about an inch or so shorter and any excess that you have on there, pop off. Secure that in and trim it up. And I know this is looking a bit strange at the moment, but once we get the rest of it together and put our glue dots and pull it all together, this is going to be our stock. It's going to sit like that. Let's turn that right. There we go. Like there. And our two barrels are going to ride along right up here. So we've got that part there. Now we're going to grab one of our gray 260s so we can make our barrels, or one of our barrels, I should say. As always, we're going to start by making a tulip twist on the end. Secure that by making the two pinch twists behind it to hold it. So there's our first barrel. 
Let's go ahead and get our second one prepped. So we're going to put our end on it, put our tulip twist, followed by our two pinch twists to secure that end. Okay, now our barrels are naturally going to be longer than our magazine. So we're going to take that and measure about however far you want it to stick out. I'm going to have it stick out about three or four inches there. Measure that and put a pinch twist there. Sorry, I'm drifting off screen. So that you've got your barrel and a pinch. Now we need to do the same with the other barrel. We want them to be the same size. So measure that you've got the same size and put your pinch twist there. Now what we want to do is we need just a little small spacer bubble. Doesn't matter which of these you use. And we're going to take and put a little pinch twist there. Then another small pinch twist there. And then pop this excess off. And then we're going to take our other one and put a little small spacer bubble there and lock it into those two pinch twists that I just put on the first barrel. And any excess that you have, go ahead and remove. And I'm going to take those two ends and tie them together to make sure that it stays and then trim that. So we've got our two barrels like that. Now what we're going to do, you can see how it's beginning to take a little shape once we pull it all together here in a minute. We're going to take our 160, and we've got these two pinch twists back here. We're going to attach the nozzle in there, just like that. And then we're going to take, and we're going to put a little small spacer bubble there, and we're going to twist into the back where our stock comes in where these bubbles are, these pinch twists at the base of our stock. And then I'm going to take and jump, hopefully you can see this, a little bubble across to where my trigger is going to begin. Right there. And then I'm going to make my trigger, once we get to that bottom that had the sets of pinch twists, we're going to make a little loop right there make our trigger guard. Any access on there we're going to take off. Well, this looks like a terrible mess, doesn't it? Now is where our glue dots will come into place. Straighten up. And we're going to pull this all together and make it look right. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take my two barrels. Now I'm going to take a glue dot and kind of, kind of towards the end. Put a glue dot right there, so we can bring our two barrels together and make sure their ends are lining up, just like that. Then we're going to turn it over, and I'm going to take my two magazines, and I'm going to put a glue dot in between them to hold them together, just like that, kind of toward the end, and again making sure they're lining up. Now we need to take our two magazines and attach them to our barrel. And I'm going to take what we want here. <clears throat> Let me turn it back over. To make sure, if we put one on the end, sometimes you'll get a bowl back here. So I'm going to put one here and one there on each magazine to secure it into place. So I'll put one there. Put one out there. this barrel, just like that, and we're going to come to the other side and repeat that process, one right up there, let me hold those apart with my hand, sorry I'm getting my face in the way, and one there, and then we're going to attach those, and then all we have left is to take our final glue dot, and I'm going to put it on this end right out here, of this bottom piece where our trigger is. 
You want to pull it out where it's holding straight, and you want to push it up so the glue dot kind of makes contact with both of our magazines up under there. Now locks it in place just like that. And then you have, as you can see from the top and from the side, a double barreled shotgun.